What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean for 4JLU, 4 Geeks Like You, and you're now tuned into my review of Devil Survivor 2, Episode 2, titled Monday's Turmoil. Now, uh, it picks up where we left off in episode 1, where Gyps is taking Hibiki, Daichi, and Io back to their base. And, basically, um, Commander Sako uh, takes Hibiki into a room where he's not interrogated, but basically um, explained, you know, basically more is explained to him about what is happening in the world right now. And, um, he's also introduced to uh, Chief Hatsuin. And... The, the, the main things that are being told him is that his demon, Bayako, that he summoned is really, you know, it's a part of the Chinese uh, constellations, one of the four symbols a part of the Chinese constellations and it's a real powerful demon you know, especially for him to just wheel out with a Bayako, it's like, whoa like, really? So um, after that's told, he's also told that the demon that attacked the city and attacked him and his friends is actually one of seven demons and I think the name of the demons is something like Septrionis. Uh, it's seven of them. It says he took out one. There's six more. And this, if they don't stop the six other demons that come out each day, um, the world is basically going to be destroyed, which is pretty cool. It's your typical, again, Shin Megami Tensei storyline. So anyway, um, he's released the next day with um, Daichi and Io, and they're released back to the city, and they're like in a shelter-like area. And he's basically thinking about what, what's been told to him by Commander Sako. It's like, you know, well, now I, I sort of have to defend people and um, sort of protect the world. Destroy these six other demons, you know, for, you know, or else the world is going to be... So, um, as he's pondering that, a demon breaks through. And it's like a skull-like bird thingy. It looks weird as shit, man. Again, Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> so, um, all of a sudden, he wields out Bayako. Boom! And Bayako is fighting them and going in. But what he doesn't realize is that there's actually a cell phone nearby. And the cell phone is actually like the core of how these demons actually get released into the world. Sort of like all these skull bird things coming out of this phone. And, uh, you know, you got hundreds of people. Or you could say like maybe like a hundred people. But it's a lot of people there that are actually watching Hibiki actually pull out his, um, his demon and summon Bayako. And even when Daiichi tries to enter the battle, he can't because his phone is like charging or his, his um... His demon is actually like recharging or something, so he can't pull it out. So he's actually in this battle by himself, and Bayako is getting overpowered. So Commander Sako comes back. She starts willing out her summon, and um, it's like an angelic kind of uh, demon. And kind of weird kind of mixture there, right? Shin Megami Tensei. So she wills that out, and she starts fighting, but she does it on her own. She finds the phone that is releasing the demons and basically destroys it. And Bayako goes in with the lightning burst, starts busting out shit, and just finishes them. So, we're left off and, you know, with um, people that are actually witnessing this. And the people are scared already because they're like, demons, you know, demons are going to eat us. They're going to kill us. Then there's this kid who pulls out a demon and they're like, whoa. like, Yeah, we don't want you near us, buddy. That's Bayako too? Like, that, that shit is constellations and zodiac signs. Why is that out here? And uh, what happens is that since he um, saved this kid... Um, the kid is like, thank you. And then, you know, people around the area begin to notice, oh, well, maybe he is here to save us. And, you know, you still got those that are like, oh, he's going to eat us now. He's going to put the demon on us. But, you know, it's sort of like a divided platform there where you have people that are against you and people that are for you, sort of. You know, the world is still a, a little bit confused right now of, of demons being released and eating people and blowing people up and shit. So, um, yeah. But overall... Uh, pretty cool episode. I would give it a 4 out of 5. I did enjoy it more than the first one, sort of. Um, the only thing I liked about the first episode was that when he pulled out Bayako and, you know, shit was going down. And Io pulled out her ogre. But o overall, um, Io and Daichi really didn't have anything much to do with this episode. It was more about Hibiki using um, Bayako and, you know, busting out this demon bird vulture thingy. So overall, again, um, 4 out of 5. I definitely enjoyed it. Guys, definitely... Um, Start watching this anime. It's really good. Um, it's not going to be something that's 45 episodes long, actually, because if they're just hunting down six demons, it's going to be like how uh, Persona 4 was. And Persona 4 is, is a part of the Shin Megami Tensei series. So it's going to be like 25 episodes flat. Um, and that's pretty good. You know, some animes don't need to be extended more than 
25 episodes. So, again, uh, this is Sean from 4GLU, 4 Geeks Like You. Stay tuned for more reviews. And also, if you have a DS or a PS2, you can pick up uh, Demon Devil Survivor. I'm about to say Demon Survivor. Devil Survivor 2 uh, if you want to play it. It's on a Nintendo DS as well. All right. See you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.